students now we will discuss the important terms of chapter number 2 so now let's start so the first one is map map is a drawing of the earth globe globe is the model of the earth compass compass is an instrument used to find directions then atlas atlas is a book of maps so students these were your important terms now let's proceed towards the next exercise now we will discuss the exercise part of the chapter 2 first question is multiple choice questions tick the correct answers the first one is we can hang dash on the wall so students can you please name the object which you can hang on the wall the options are given as globe second option atlas third option is wall maps so which object you can hang on the wall the answer is wall maps now the next one second one is the dash on the map of the world shows water and the options are given as red color blue color or green color the correct answer is blue color now the next part now the third part the dash is the smallest ocean in the world and the options are given as pacific ocean arctic ocean or indian ocean so the correct answer is arctic ocean now the next part is test yourself again there is one mcq over there the question is a model of the earth is called dash and the options are given as a globe option b an atlas option c a wall map option d a map and the correct answer is a globe now the next part a book of map is called dash and the options are given as an atlas option b a book option c a map book option d a drawing book and the correct answer is an so now the next question is a book of map is called dash and the options are given as option a an atlas option b a book option c a map book option d a drawing book and the correct answer is an atlas now let's proceed towards the next multiple choice questions tick the correct answer first one what does the blue color on the map shows and the options are given as option a oceans option b seas option c rivers and lakes option d all of these and the correct answer is all of these now the next question is the needle of the compass always points towards the dash and the directions are given as option a north option b south option c east option d west and the correct answer is north now the next one large land masses are called the options are option a continents option b countries option c cities option d oceans the correct answer is continents now let's proceed towards the true false the question is given as write t for true and f for false 
statements also rectify them so you have to write true for the true you have to write true for the true statements and f for the false statements and those statements which are false you have to rectify them also so the first part is a globe is rotated to see the other half of the earth and it is true or false you have to just tell the correct answer so the statement is true so we will write t over there then the next is a globe is the drawing of the earth or a part of it the statement is correct so we will put t over there now the next part a very large body of water is called a continent it is true or false it is false so we will rectify it a very large body of water is called ocean now the next one a compass help us to find maps is it true or false it is false and we will rectify it so the correct statement is a compass help us to find directions now the next question the blue color on the map shows water is it true or false it is the true statement so we will write t over there now let's proceed towards the next the question answer part the first question is why can we not see the whole earth at one go observe a globe and rotate it to write your answer so the question it is asking that why we cannot see the earth at one go on a globe why we need to rotate it so the correct answer is we cannot see the earth at one go because it is round in shape now the next question 